I have this piece of foil here and it's free to rotate around the post there that it's attached to. Watch what happens when I put a hot plate underneath it. It starts to spin. Now, if you think about this, you can figure out why. The hot plate is heating the air around it. What does hot air do? It rises. So hot air is rising up uh, this way. Well, I've designed the foil so that as the hot air rises, it causes the foil to spin in a particular direction. Now that's kind of fun, but it actually illustrates an important principle. This is a very crude heat engine. It converts the motion of energy from hot to cool into mechanical work. Now that's kind of fun, but it's not all that impressive. I can do it much more impressively if I engineer things better. So this is another example of a heat engine. It's called a Stirling engine. Uh, and it uses the same principle that my uh, foil did, but it's a lot better engineered. So in the end, it's going to use the motion of energy from the warmer air to the cooler ice water. And it's gonna cause this wheel to spin. Now I have to give it a little nudge at first, because in the end, when two surfaces are at rest relative to each other, they tend to cling to each other. That produces what is called static friction, and static friction is pretty strong. However, once I get them moving, they can't cling to each other as much, so we have kinetic friction, which is lower. The heat engine is able to overcome the kinetic friction, so it is now converting the flow of energy from the warmer air around it to the cooler ice water into the motion of that wheel. And this will go for as long as there's a temperature difference between the ice water and uh, the air around it. Now, it's moving at a certain speed, and notice that it's moving in a counterclockwise manner. I'm going to now make it uh, go a little faster and actually in the opposite direction. And I'm going to do that by putting it on hot water. When I put it on hot water, uh, the energy is now flowing in the opposite direction. It's hot here, cooler here. So energy is now flowing from the hot water to the cooler air. Notice that the engine stopped. It's because since the energy is moving in the opposite direction, the wheel wants to move in the opposite direction as well. So when I give it a little nudge, once again, to overcome static friction, uh, and that wasn't quite enough because the bottom of the uh, heat engine is still a little cool, so I have to try again, uh, just trying to get the bottom of the heat engine uh, warm first. Uh, so now it looks like it's gonna go, uh, uh, yeah, okay. So now it's going. Notice that it's now moving in the opposite direction. It's moving in the opposite direction because heat is flowing in the opposite direction. So the mechanical work gets done in the opposite direction. Also notice it's already going faster than it was with the ice water. And that of course is because there's a greater temperature difference here. Uh, between the ice water and the air around, the temperature difference was 25 degrees. This is about zero, the air is about 25 degrees Celsius, so that's a temperature difference of 25. Here the air is still 25, but this is nearly 100. So now I've got a temperature difference of 75 degrees Celsius. That's a greater temperature difference, so the heat engine can do more work. That's the principles of thermodynamics. Thermodynamics is all about converting energy from one form into another. And if you do it properly, you can get some work done.